I'm sure you've heard the news. Welcome to Lesson 3 of the AI Fundamentals Series. In this lesson, we will dive into the core concepts of machine learning. By the end of this video, you will have a strong understanding of the three main types of machine learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Let's get started. We live in an era of unprecedented technological advancement. One of the most transformative developments is the rise of artificial intelligence, or AI. AI is about creating machines that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. These tasks include learning, problem solving, and decision making. At the heart of this revolution lies machine learning, a powerful set of techniques that empowers computers to learn from data and improve their performance over time. I bet you didn't know machine learning is a subset of AI that focuses on enabling computers to learn without explicit programming. Imagine teaching a child to ride a bike. You wouldn't give them a complex physics lecture. Instead, you'd let them practice, fall, and learn from their mistakes. Similarly, machine learning algorithms learn patterns and relationships from data, gradually improving their accuracy and efficiency. This data-driven approach has revolutionized fields like healthcare, finance, and transportation. Why are there not more people talking about the power of supervised learning? Supervised learning is like having a teacher guide you through a new subject. Imagine you're stepping into a classroom for the first time, eager to learn something new. The teacher is there to provide you with the necessary information, answer your questions, and correct your mistakes. This guidance is crucial in helping you understand the subject matter deeply and accurately. Imagine you're learning to identify different types of flowers. At first, all the flowers might look similar to you, but with the teacher's help, you start to notice the subtle differences. Your teacher shows you pictures of roses, lilies, and sunflowers, labeling each one. They might point out the distinct shape of the petals, the color variations, and the unique scent of each flower. This labeling process is essential because it provides you with a reference point. Over time, you start to recognize the unique features of each flower. You begin to differentiate a rose from a lily just by looking at the petal structure or the way the flower blooms. This gradual learning process helps you build a mental library of flower characteristics. Supervised learning algorithms work similarly. They rely on a set of labeled data to understand and learn from. Just like a student needs a teacher to provide correct answers, these algorithms need labeled data to learn the correct associations. They learn from labeled data, where each input is paired with the correct output. For instance, in a data set of flowers, each image of a flower would be labeled with its correct name. This pairing helps the algorithm understand what each input represents. This allows the algorithm to map inputs to outputs, making predictions on new, unseen data. Once the algorithm has learned from the labeled data, it can start making educated guesses about new data it encounters. One of the most common applications of supervised learning is image recognition. This technology is used in various fields, from security to social media, to identify and categorize images. Think about facial recognition software used to unlock your phone. This software has been trained on a vast number of facial images, learning to recognize the unique features of each face. The algorithm is trained on a massive data set of labeled faces, learning to identify distinct facial features and patterns. It learns to recognize the distance between your eyes, the shape of your nose, and the curve of your lips. This enables it to recognize your face even with slight variations in lighting or angle. Whether you're in a dimly lit room or standing under bright sunlight, the algorithm can still identify you accurately. This robustness is what makes supervised learning so powerful and widely used in today's technology. You need to hear this if you're a data enthusiast. Within supervised learning, there are two main tasks. Classification and regression. These two tasks form the backbone of many machine learning applications, each serving a unique purpose in the realm of data analysis and prediction. Classification involves categorizing data into predefined classes. 
This means that the algorithm is trained to recognize patterns and assign labels to new data points based on the learned patterns. Email spam filtering is a classic example of classification. In this scenario, the algorithm is trained on a data set of emails that are labeled as either spam or not spam. The algorithm learns to classify emails as spam or not spam based on features like sender address, subject line, and email content. Over time, it becomes adept at identifying the subtle cues that differentiate spam from legitimate emails. Another common application of classification is image recognition. For instance, an algorithm can be trained to categorize images of animals into classes such as cats, dogs, and birds. By analyzing features like shape, color, and texture, the algorithm can accurately label new images it has never seen before. Regression, on the other hand, deals with predicting continuous values. This is particularly useful in scenarios where the outcome is a numerical value rather than a category. Imagine you're trying to predict the price of a house based on factors like location, size, and number of bedrooms. By analyzing historical data, a regression algorithm can learn the relationship between these features and the house prices. Another example of regression is stock price prediction. Here, the algorithm uses historical stock prices and other relevant financial indicators to forecast future prices. This can help investors make informed decisions about buying or selling stocks. A regression algorithm can learn the relationship between these features and house prices, allowing you to estimate the value of a new property. This ability to predict continuous values makes regression a powerful tool in various fields, from real estate to finance. Weather prediction is another area where regression shines. By analyzing past weather data, such as temperature, humidity, and wind speed, a regression model can forecast future weather conditions. This helps meteorologists provide accurate weather reports and warnings. In summary, Classification and regression are the dynamic duo of supervised learning. While classification helps in categorizing data into predefined classes, regression is all about predicting continuous values. Together, they enable a wide range of applications that make our lives easier and more efficient. From filtering spam emails and recognizing images to predicting house prices and stock market trends, these two tasks are fundamental to the advancements in machine learning. Understanding their differences and applications is key to leveraging the power of supervised learning in solving real-world problems. You need to hear this if you're a data enthusiast. Unsupervised learning. Unlike supervised learning, unsupervised learning deals with unlabeled data. It's kind of like exploring a new city without a map or guide. You observe patterns, landmarks, and relationships to navigate your surroundings. Unsupervised learning algorithms excel at uncovering hidden structures and patterns within data. This makes them invaluable for tasks like customer segmentation, anomaly detection, and data compression. Imagine you're a retailer with a vast customer database. Unsupervised learning can help you segment customers into groups based on their purchasing behavior, demographics, or browsing history. This allows you to tailor marketing campaigns, personalize recommendations, and optimize inventory management. Everybody is looking for the best way to group data. Clustering is a fundamental task in unsupervised learning. It involves grouping similar data points together based on their shared characteristics. Think about organizing a bookshelf. You might group books by genre, author, or topic. Clustering algorithms work similarly, identifying natural groupings within data without any prior knowledge of the categories. One common application of clustering is in recommendation systems. Netflix, for example, uses clustering algorithms to group users with similar viewing habits. This allows them to recommend movies and shows that users in the same cluster have enjoyed. Reinforcement learning is all about learning through interaction and feedback. Think about training a dog. You reward good behavior and discourage unwanted actions. Similarly, 
Reinforcement learning algorithms learn by taking actions in an environment and receiving rewards or penalties based on their decisions. This trial and error process allows them to develop optimal strategies over time. Reinforcement learning has gained significant traction in robotics and game playing. For instance, AlphaGo, the AI that defeated the world champion Go player, was trained using reinforcement learning. The algorithm played millions of games against itself, learning from its mistakes and improving its strategy with each iteration. Am I the only one that didn't know the differences between supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning? Supervised learning relies on labeled data, making it suitable for tasks like classification and regression. Unsupervised learning excels at uncovering hidden patterns in unlabeled data, powering applications like clustering and anomaly detection. Reinforcement learning focuses on learning through interaction and feedback, enabling agents to make optimal decisions in complex environments. Each learning type has its strengths and weaknesses, making it essential to choose the right approach based on the specific problem and available data. Am I the only one that didn't know how crucial understanding the fundamentals of machine learning is for anyone interested in AI's potential? These basics form the foundation of more complex systems, allowing us to appreciate advanced AI applications and their impact across industries. Machine learning techniques are driving innovation, from self-driving cars to personalized medicine. In the automotive world, AI is making vehicles safer and more efficient, while in healthcare, it's enabling tailored treatments that improve outcomes and lower costs. These advancements illustrate AI's growing influence in our lives. As AI evolves, a strong grasp of each learning type becomes invaluable. Supervised learning enables models to recognize images, process speech, and make accurate predictions. Unsupervised learning uncovers hidden patterns in data, fueling applications like clustering and anomaly detection. And reinforcement learning trains AI to make smart decisions, especially valuable in robotics and autonomous systems. By embracing these machine learning concepts, we're unlocking the full potential of AI, where human creativity and machine intelligence promise groundbreaking solutions to global challenges. This journey is just beginning, and with a solid foundation in AI, the possibilities are limitless. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to subscribe for more insights into AI fundamentals, hit the like button, share this video with others, and join us on this exciting path of discovery. Stay tuned for the next lesson, where we'll dive deeper into deep learning and neural networks.